Hello everyone. Um, this video is to demonstrate a pin or trigger mechanism used, a, um, a simplified version um, to use with the aggressor high-tech um, radio control system. And this system is really useful. Um, it's for long-range deployment of any type of trigger pin. And in this case, I'm using it with a bow net that is designed to capture arctic breeding shorebirds incubating on the nest. So you could envision a nest here. Um, this system would be set up with the bow triggered and, um, and then we could literally walk 100 meters and wait for the bird to return to then deploy the net. And so the system here with that closed net is that it's under load, so it's actually um, it wants to be open. So I just want to demonstrate the use of this type of pin because I've noticed online there's not a lot describing um, how to use this ag aggressor trigger mechanism, um, specifically with the pin. Uh, and this is a very easily um, homemade pin using electrical tape, some copper wire, and then um, just your simple nails. I've also attached the pin to the deployment box with just some um, twist tie. Honestly, you could use anything. It was just so that I don't lose the pin when it deploys. So what I'll do is I'll just set up the bow net. This is easily done in the field. The net wants to stay open like this. It's a brilliant little design. It's lightweight. Um, and rust proof and is under load. I close the net. And I modified this pin here, which is just literally um, an S curve copper wire attached here. And so the pin in order to load it is very easy. You put the nail under load that gives support and then this copper wire sits underneath the trigger box. So if you can see that very simply, the nail sits under the load and then the copper wire sits under the trigger and this distributes the, um, the load so that there's not a lot acting on the box and uh, it means that it's more likely to deploy because this actual trigger is not extremely strong. The remote control just turns on on the back. It gives you a green light to tell you it's working. The box also has an on switch and it's indicated by a green light here. And literally then this would all be weighed down on the Tundra but you can see simply by deploying the trigger here, we get a release of the net. And this little cable here is just attached to the box so I don't lose my pin, but um, a very simple device. The idea is that the material, you don't want it to be expensive. You want it to be easily accessible, um, replaceable, and, uh, and in this way, it's very cost effective. This deployed trigger device is not cheap, uh, and neither is it to make the net. So um, I think for working in the field, this is a really acceptable trigger pin mechanism.